Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you again with another complete Auto World series video. And uh, today we've got Auto World 2020 release 5, the last release for 2020. Um, and it's a good one. And we're going to go through it. The car that you're looking at right here is the last Ultra Red that I needed to complete the series. We finally have it. And sweet. Alright, so we can finally do the complete series video um, this one is number six in the series so it is last of the six cars um, so fitting that it was the last ultra red i had to acquire to um, complete this series um, just a quick look around the card art of these so this is a version a card art as you can see here and we'll get back to it because it's the last one in the series so we're going to go in order here so number one was the Chevrolet Silverado LTZ Z71. That is this guy right here. We're going to go ahead and zoom in on that. This is the version A in satin steel metallic. Love this tooling. Um, oh yeah, this is the one where I have a bed issue. The thing will not stay up. I still got to figure out how to fix that. And it probably is something I can do uh, to make this stay up. I'm not sure if I have a replacement for this car either, if that does not stay up. But, like I said, I think I'll figure it out. So, a little flaw there with that bed not staying up. Of course, the hood opens on this piece as well. Very heavy casting. This particular one in satin steel metallic is limited to 10,720 pieces. Shouldn't be too hard to get a hold of another one should I need it. Um, yeah, i got to play with that and see if I can get that to... It just does not. I wonder if I pull out... And push up or push down and in um, yeah it seems like no matter what you do uh, this thing just falls on this particular one um, but yeah so this is version a 10,720 pieces satin steel metallic the better of the two colors I think for the release the second one that uh, or the version B car that came out or truck rather is this one here and uh, this version is in red hot red. Red hot red. Again, 10,720 pieces. Looks pretty decent. Tailgate stays up on this one, which is good. Focus action there. So, pretty cool there. And yeah, and then of course the ultra red. So here's the ultra red of the truck. Right here. So ultra red traits for this release are white base, white tires, ultra red body, and I believe, yes, ultra, ultra white. <laughs> uh, white engine. See the engine in there is white. You can barely see it in there. You'll be able to look at it in some other ones, but... Those are your traits for this one, and I believe they go after the version A vehicles. Yeah, definitely, I think, version A. Are the plates different between the two? We always like to look at that. This is uh, LTZ Z71, and I think it says that on both plates. Yep, so the plates are not different on any of the three cars. Uh, the chase is likely, since it's about 3% of the production line, it's limited to probably like a 642 pieces. I would I would imagine that's what it's limited to based on production numbers. Uh, but yeah, pretty decent looking chase. Uh, definitely the, the gray one, or the steel, satin steel metallic is my favorite uh, color. All right. Next, this is a very truck-heavy release, by the way. The next one is the 19 Ford, 2019 Ford F-150 XLT Sport. This is iconic silver metallic. Uh, these are limited to 10,240 pieces, so a little bit more limited than the Chevy. Um, and it looks all right with that, uh, that stripe on there. This bed does actually stay up. No issues. Of course, this one also has an opening hood um, and an opening tailgate. There's your hood there. And that's version A. Version B, limited to the same amount, uh, 10,240, is this one right here. And this is in just simply gloss black. Black interior. 
looks really good still has that like matte black uh, stripe action or deco on the side pretty cool looking Ford truck very nice sport version and then of course the ultra red and again it's gonna have the same traits so white base white tires and red ultra red body of course and if you look under the hood it should have a white engine so check that out pretty darn cool uh, so being three percent of the production line that makes this probably limited to around 614 pieces for the ford so all right number three in there we get another truck and the more popular casting this of course we got a little banana action here i'm just going to point that out see i point out flaws no matter what i don't care what brand it is auto world's my favorite brand and yes this one the bed is on a little bit crooked or whatever something's up with that not sure if that is fixable or not. If you try to bend it, I'm going to probably break the thing. Eh, no. Uh, but yeah, so this is the, the first time they did the lifted version of the step side. Uh, so this is 1980 Chevy Custom Deluxe 10 step side. Uh, this one's in gloss black. Uh, these are the most, this is the most produced one in the series. It's 17,008 uh, pieces. For version a and they made more than version b so it is black of course gloss black it's got a red interior uh, those big beefy tires uh, it's got a brush guard in the front i believe this is the first time that they used that as well um chevrolet in the back still low <laughs> and uh, pretty cool uh, pretty cool, except for, of course, it's got that bit of a little bend to it. As you can see, this is a little bit crooked onto here. I think I've got another one of these uh, carded. I don't know if I'll open it up to necessarily replace this one on display uh, because of that issue. Um, but it does have a crooked bend, so we do need to acknowledge that. So, no brand is perfect. I know that. All right. So, next is this one. Much better nice and straight um, this one is in they call it bright green it doesn't really look too bright i would not really consider it necessarily bright but that's what it's called uh, this one is 15,808 pieces so they did not make this one again as much as the gloss black one um, same sort of thing except it's got a tan interior uh, so a different color interior and really this is the first version now of the three cars that this is the third car that we're looking at in the series it's the only one that will really tell us now um what the ultra red is if it's version a or version b because the ultra red is right here and it has a red interior so you know they're made after the version a cars so of course you get the nice big marshmallows here for tires you get a white base and then there should be a white engine under here. And if we can lift that up, there it is. Boom. So pretty cool. Uh, so this would be the least limited, but eh, maybe the most desirable Ultra Red in the set. The bed's on straight on the Ultra Red, which is great as well. Um, being that this is probably approximately 984 pieces. So just under a thousand of these out there. If my math and my theory of the 3% is still correct. Uh, so pretty cool there. And then next we followed up with pretty much your last truck. Well, I guess this doesn't really count as a truck. It's a Jeep. But you get my drift. It's not a car. Um, and it's this one here. Uh, this is the 2018 Jeep Wrangler JK Jeep Wrangler JK Unlimited Sport. The version A is in chief blue. Um, in my opinion, I think, you know, in this release, I, I've always said I'm not a huge fan of Jeeps, but I think the two in this release, uh, 2020 release five, are probably the best releases of it. 
maybe with the exception of the Miho exclusive release with the roof rack. But I like the colors that they put this one out in. There's actually someone that lives fairly close to me that has this exact same Jeep, same color, same trim, all that stuff. So it's kind of neat. I see it on the road all the time. And uh, yeah, I'm like, hey, I have a 164 scale version of that. Uh, so 10,240 pieces, Chief Blue, version A. Version B is in an interesting color as well. This is Gobi Beige. And this actually might be my fave. I just like that off-white, the white top. I just think it looks cool. It does still have the white stripe on the side. It's just harder to see. Um, but very neat indeed. So this one's also limited to the same amount. All these are limited to the same amount, version A's and version B's, except for that number three Chevy Custom Deluxe 10 step side. That's the only one that has a difference. Um, so this one is 10,240 as well. And um, it's pretty cool. And so that makes the ultra red then. There's your ultra red. And that one right there. Again, we're going to have the white tires. We're going to have the white base. We're going to have the ultra red body. And then we should have a white engine. But we don't. So I don't know what the deal is with that. This may be, and it's going to be hard to tell. I'd have to buy another one to find out if maybe there's just an issue with this one. And it was supposed to have a white engine, but it doesn't. Uh, but this one does not have a white engine, and that is a little bit odd. Um, if any of you other Auto World fans out there have this truck in your collection or Jeep in your collection, and you've opened it, uh, open the hood and let me know what you find under there. Um, also, um, if anybody here from round two is watching this video, let me know what you think of that not having a white motor because i'm pretty sure it was supposed to um because the rest of the cars i believe do so i think it was supposed to have a white engine and this one does not so i don't know if that's special or not if there are white engine versions out there i might have to find one to call my collection complete and that would be a challenge because literally these are mostly all the time sold carded so it'd be really, really tough to have to get them and try to open all the hoods and find them. And I don't know what the split would be, if this is odd that this has the black instead of the white, or if maybe they just didn't make a white version, or maybe they're 50-50, or who knows. We don't know. I don't know. So these are limited to probably around 614 pieces, and we just don't know about that. So we're going to have to shelf that one and try to find out... Uh, so, there you go. Next. Um, so, the next one in there is the very heavily anticipated when this was first announced. This is the, of course, the Dodge Stealth RT Twin Turbo. This is a very cool tooling. I'm glad that they did this car. Um, I was so excited to see it when it was announced. And... Uh, it's just a fantastic idea to do something from the early 90s like this. So the 91 Dodge Stealth. Um, this is version A, 10,240 pieces, and it is simply red. Um, cool little car tooling, and just represents a bit of a departure from Auto World's normal uh, stuff, which is great. This and the Supra that they came out with afterwards. Uh, this one should also hood opens on this it's a little tough to get at you know i'm such an idiot because <laughs> i say every time hey dave why don't you get a thin guitar pick and bring it in here i play guitar a lot um you know that would be something to keep in here to open these hoods with and i think that would work quite good i want to use this one so maybe this will work i've got a surplus goodies business card here and can we open the hood with that? Nope. Nope. Well, whatever. We're going to have to try it out a different one. This one's shut pretty tight. Uh, nice kind of silverish interior. Looks really good. 
just uh, really, really awesome. LBTR553. Yeah, let me know what that means also in the comments. If it means something, I'm not figuring it out right now. All right, next is version B. And this time we get it in Mystic Blue Metallic. And this is actually a very cool looking color in person. I think it's just a basic blue. And it kind of is just a basic blue, but it really isn't. Let's see if we can get the hood to open on this one. Sorry for the knocking around there. I cannot get it open, but we're going to have to get the one open on the ultra red, so because we need to look at the motor. So that's when we will look at it. Uh, same plate. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and check out the ultra red. So, of course, ultra red body paint, ultra red base, or ultra red base, white base, white tires, and there should be a white motor under here. So I have to get this open. Come on, buddy. I'm going to take it off camera for just a second. There you go. The good old banging the roof on the knee. Got her open. Now that I got that open, though, I kind of want to see the one of the other ones. Oh, yeah, that works great. Just hit the roof of the car right on your knee. Then I shut it. Uh, the, the hood's just shut really tight on these, which is nice. There you go. Here's a look at the motor. Without the white paint. And here's a look at it with all the white paint. So that puts these limited, like again, uh, like the majority of the ultra reds in this release, you know, you're going to get 614 pieces. Somewhere in there is what it's limited to. I've got two in my collection. I got another one carded just because I was able to pick it up for trade at a local meet and that just worked out for me. So that's pretty cool. Um, all right. So we're up to the last car and this was the, the final one to get for me to get in the series. Uh, and it is the 1975 Cadillac Eldorado. This was also a brand new tooling for this particular release. So two new toolings in this release, the Dodge Stealth and this Cadillac Eldorado. Uh, this one got a little bit less hype, I think, than the, uh, the Stealth, but it is a really nice tooling. Um, this color is really cool too. This is Lido green. Uh, these are limited to 11,800 pieces. So they actually made more of these than the stealth. Maybe assuming that these would be more popular. Um, this particular version that I have here is a little flawed. As you can see in the front, uh, the grill, it's got big text there on the license plate, but the grill is a little bit misaligned. You know, it's a little warped in there, the graphic and the hood on this particular version A doesn't shut uh, quite nicely all the way, uh, but I guess it means it's easy to open. There's that big motor in there. I mean, I could probably play with this and maybe get this to shut away, but there's no way you're gonna fix the graphic in the front. I think I have a backup of this somewhere, which I may open at some time. I will have to check that out because if I do, I may need to replace this loose model in my collection. I like to have perfect loose models in the collection. So when I have two different carded cars and I'm deciding which one to open, I will look them over, usually with a fine tooth comb. I opened this one before I had a second one, um, but I look them over with a fine tooth comb. I'm not looking at card art to what to save. I'm looking at the condition of the car and which one to open. Um, so this one I could maybe replace if I remember to do so. Just has a couple issues with it. So green interior, it's a really cool color green. I like it, other than the fact that that hood won't shut and the grill looks a little weird. So this is how the grill should look right here on this version B. This one has a white interior, red dash. Um, and the color of this one is Cerise Fire Mist Poly. Again, 11,800 pieces, and it looks pretty good. The color is not as cool as the green one. Um, the hood, you know, that is all the way shut for the hood right there. So there's a little bit of a gap in the front there on this casting. Nothing too major, but uh, you open it up there. It's easy to open up the hood on this one. It's big, it's heavy. 
But it looks pretty good. So the, the casting's pretty cool. They do a lowrider version of it for MJ Toys, and uh, that looks really awesome. So I'm digging the tooling. I think it's cool. And so I guess that leaves us with one last car to look at, and that, of course, oh, my lights just started blinking here. Um, that leaves us with the ultra out of this. And this was on a version 8 card. And again, I tell this all the time, when you're looking at basic store releases, it doesn't matter if it's a version A or version B card. There is only one Chase version, well, at least one Ultra Red version. Of course, there are Ultra Raws in this release. Those are limited to 10 each. I do not have any from this release in my collection. Those are tough to get. I usually don't even try for them because you're talking about, you know, a couple hundred bucks a car. And I just can't, you know, afford to put those in my collection. But... God, what is with this light blinking? That's so weird. All right. Anyway, there it is. If you want to read the premium facts, you can on this one as well because we've got it available. And so we should see we should see a white engine. Uh, we should see the white base, obviously the white tires. You can see that right now. And then the ultra red body. And then we know it's after a version A trait because it has the green back but it wouldn't matter if you found this on the version b card it still have this green uh partial vinyl top or whatever it is these are likely limited to around 708 pieces and the card is already folded in half i did that um, let's get it out of its plastic here plastic cardboard and set the card down and take a peek so there you go. There is your chase vehicle. White tires. White base. Ultra red body. And we should see a big old white engine in here. And yeah, there it is. Big Tex. Pretty cool. All right, so that's going to be it for this. We've got uh, the whole entirety of 2020 release five in the books heading to the display case where it should be displayed in my little auto world sanctuary here in the die cast room uh, so very cool um let me know what you guys think down in the comments below about this release what was your favorite from the release were you excited for the stealth were you excited for the el dorado are you just a square body guy that just wants more of these you know and that's okay and then, of course, what is the deal with the Jeep not having the white engine? Curious about that one. So, all right, that's it for this one, guys. Thank you guys again very much for watching. You have a great rest of your day.